So if you guys have been growing orchids for quite a while and have many, many orchids, you probably have noticed that irritating factor of the fact that algae can indeed grow on your orchid roots. And it is so frustrating and even nauseating to look at, but such a tedious task to try to remove this algae from the roots. So today we're going to be showing you an easy and simple method using water pressure to clean off these orchid roots. And speaking of algae, I just wanted to show you algae at its finest. And here we have a sidewalk that gets lots and lots of rain, high moisture, and of course that very warm to hot temperature. Again, prime condition for this algae to grow. You're also going to see a variation in color of algae. As you can see, that very deep green, and it's just different layers of green. And as we come down over here, you're also going to see a very blackened color as well. That's that muck and guck that you're seeing on top of the sidewalk. Sidewalk color should be right there. Now, in the case of cleaning off our sidewalks and also our driveways, commonly we would use a pressure washer. Well, we're going to be using a pressure washing technique on our orchids as well. Now, can orchids survive with all of this algae growth? Well, of course they can. In nature, algae can actually grow quite rampant, and these orchids manage to thrive and survive just fine. But just as a side note, algae growth can actually impact and affect a natural function of the orchid roots, in which you guys know orchid roots can actually photosynthesize using the sun's energy via the orchid roots to provide energy and food for the plant. But don't fret, guys. Just because it has that capability, we have to also understand it does have its foliage as well in which it can derive energy from the sun. So it's not going to halt or stop the growth of the orchid. So the main issue that we have, or at least I have, is the fact that it is so unappealing to the eye and cosmetically speaking, it is just not pleasant. So indeed, when you see all of that grit and grime, it does give a dirty effect, a grimy effect to the orchid, which I don't like. So we are going to be using this handy dandy water hose. Also this handy dandy nozzle or sprayer in which it has many settings in which we can spray our water. And the setting that I decided to choose is the flat method, which seems to be perfect for this type of job. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and water my orchids just as I normally would. And I'm from a distance, so therefore not a whole lot of pressure. I just want to get the roots wet and saturated. And after the roots are completely wet, I'm going to go ahead and let this go ahead and saturate and sit for about two to three minutes. Then we'll come right back again. Okay, so now we can take a closer look and we can really see that grime and slime of algae on the root system. And now we're just going to go ahead and let this soak, sit, and saturate. And we're going to come back and use the pressurized water method. And we are back in business, folks. So now we are getting closer to the roots where we are in close proximity. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this hose and we're going to allow that high water pressure to go ahead and clean and remove that yucky, yucky algae. And now that we're closer in proximity, the water pressure is more centralized in the area where we are spraying. So indeed, it's going to get right in there. Now, it may take a couple attempts because you guys know there's many angles to the orchid roots and we want to make sure that all of that yuck and guck is removed. So again, it may be several attempts to get everything off, but we indeed have the patience. And if there is a will, there definitely is a way. And here we are, folks, and I have to tell you what a difference that water pressure method makes in cleaning up these orchid roots. And to be honest with you, when I actually started cleaning these roots were before I started to film. So there was a lot more muck and guck to the point where the roots were blackened. So indeed, this is like 100% different here.
Now, don't be alarmed if you do notice some discoloration in the roots. You have to realize that with the time that it had with the algae caked up on the roots, where it was preventing and blocking the natural sunlight to get to the roots, that indeed there is going to be discoloration. Again, the sun was not getting to the areas where the algae was. It's kind of similar to if you went to the beach and had your bathing suit on and your shades on, then after your beach trip, you went ahead and took your bathing suit off or your shades and you realize such extreme discoloration in your skin tone. Well, that is exactly what's happened to the root system. So again, don't become alarmed. It's just a natural occurrence. And there you have it, folks. That is a complete water pressure cleaning on our orchid roots wrap. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode. And I do hope you learned something from this video and can utilize the information that I shared with you today. Now, if you guys have another method in which you use and works well with cleaning the algae off of the roots of your orchids, please be sure to share that information with us below. As you guys already know, the more that we know, the more that we can grow. Thank you guys so much and as you guys already know I truly do love and appreciate you guys all and indeed I will see you guys later and I will grow with you guys later as well. Mwah.